While the field and potting media serve as excellent platforms for many research objectives, hydroponic systems can also offer unique opportunities for controlled environment studies. Hydroponics are especially useful in situations where there is a need to cultivate larger plant species in a system where precise control of nutrient availability or the application of some chemical treatment is required. Additionally, hydroponic systems allow for easy, non-destructive measurements of the root system and consequently can be useful in tracking root development over time or for characterizing genetic variation in below-ground traits. As with any controlled environment study, careful consideration should be made regarding the relevance of data collected from hydroponic systems to real-world conditions. For example, real soils contain features that are lacking in hydroponic systems such as the presence of organic matter, soil biota, or oxide surfaces that serve to buffer nutrient availability. Initially, seedlings must be germinated in a growth chamber for approximately one week until they are large enough to be transplanted into foam plugs and then placed into hydroponic solution. Careful consideration should be made regarding the strength of the nutrient solution, as highly concentrated solutions may cause salt stress to young seedlings. Almost any container can be used for hydroponic studies. However, these containers and the environment they are housed in should be thoroughly cleaned to limit the growth of algae and solution. Additionally, the solution should be changed regularly throughout the duration of the study to prevent the buildup of algae. Because different species have distinct nutritional requirements, various nutrient solutions are used depending on the species being grown. Regardless of what solution is used, it is essential to properly balance the pH of the solution using hydrochloric acid or potassium hydroxide. Because roots are composed of respiring tissue that requires oxygen to survive, Care must be taken to ensure conditions within the tanks are not anoxic. To address this, the solution can be aerated with atmospheric air pumped into the tanks through tubing and dissolved into the solution with air stones. Alternatively, specialty gases or chemical treatment can be bubbled into solution. One distinct advantage of hydroponic systems is that it affords the opportunity to take non-destructive measurements of the root system. This can be especially useful in examining fine root structures such as lateral roots or root hairs, which may be damaged when the root system is excavated from soil. In this study, we are generating scans of wheat root systems that can be subsequently analyzed using specialized software to track root system development over time. <laughs> 